Hello, I'm back in the Cartoon Studio, the Vata of Human Rights Defender Nasta Luka. Nasta is saving and used intense for human rights activities in a colony in Belarus. She has been behind bars for 14 months. I'm really looking forward to justice prevailing, and Nasta being released and replacing me in the studio. Until then, let's record the brightest human rights news of Belarus in November. In November, the 15th Annual Assembly of the Eastern Partnership Civil Society Forum took place in Brussels. More than 250 representatives of civil society organizations and politicians from the Eastern Partnership countries and the European Union took part in it. The issue of the human rights situation in Belarus, where the situation remains one of the most difficult in the region, was raised while opposition political parties were deprived of legal status after forced registration in 2023. About half of legal civil society organizations have been liquidated. More than 1,500 men and women are now recognized as political prisoners. Together with lawyers from the Golhab's Free Legal Advice Service, we look at changes to the, the regulation on the procedure for registering departure for permanent residents outside Belarus. Read the details in the article linked below the video. And we would like to remind you that registration or permanent residence permit is a right, not an obligation. Therefore, it can be registered only voluntarily. Definition of extremist Mao Belarus practice and international standard. The rhetoric of the de facto authorities equates any form of disobedience and any opinion alternative to the state with extremism. At the same time, a legislator has not come to a single definition of what actions fall under the concept of extremism and offers different interpretations of this concept. Read the details in the material, link below this video. The top nine absurd cases related to extremism in Belarus can be found in the article linked below this video. For example, now even death will not allow one to escape from the court of Belarus. Under the new legislation, criminal cases can be initiated against deceased persons. The deceased defendants will even be represented by a lawyer. The problem of racism in sports, and soccer in particular, is still relevant. During a game between Valencia and Real Madrid on May 2023, a Madrid player was subjected to racist insults from the stands. The player tried to bring it to the attention of the head referee, but it had no effect. You can read more about recorded cases of racism in sports in the article linked below the video. Despite the significant benefits that sports offers, it remains inaccessible and often unsafe for LGBTQI plus individuals. Until all areas of sports become safe and inclusive, for everyone without exception, there is a need for ongoing education policy initiatives, legal regulations and public actions aimed at achieving equality and safety in sports. Uh, read more about this in the report linked below this video. During online training security in the face of extremism, Himan Constanta experts told how to protect oneself in the world of digital authoritarianism and extremist legislation in Belarus. If this information is relevant to you, look for the link to the material below this video. Where Starlink makes the internet more accessible and users free, but more vulnerable. We have analyzed it together with experts. Find the answers to these questions in the material. The link below this video. November marks the Quality and Inclusion Awareness Week. During this time, partner organizations published more than 30 posts on Instagram. During the week, four events were held, two online and two offline. As always, it has been a pleasure to spend this time with you. The news audience is growing, which means more people are learning about human rights. To contribute to this process, leave comments. See you next month.